Shed came about from a pure frustration of using a sad plastic bag to cover my saddle every time it rained. A very common nuisance, generally overlooked, as people tend to use a thin plastic bag, a piece of kitchen roll or tissue paper or even a sleeve to wipe down a wet saddle and it generally leads to a wet patch anyway and a bit of discomfort. So it got me thinking and in 2011 I built a shed, puddle shed. By 2013, Pedal Shed was on the road and we had added comfort star and protection to commuters' journeys. There are currently two different types of saddle covers at Pedal Shed. There's the standard saddle, which fits the majority of road bikes, including the city bike sharing schemes, which pop up everywhere. And we've also got what we call the T2, which is a slim fit. It's modelled after the Brooks B17 and also the Brompton bike. It's slimmer but longer in the nose so it fits a lot of the racing bikes. Three layers of textiles, there's a splash proof base so you can pop it on the wet saddle and stay dry, there's insulation in the middle for a bit of extra comfort and then there's a cool top for style. See, there are lots of different colours and textiles and good combinations. They've all got names, I'm not going to bore you with all of those, but um, these here are the Scotsman, which are quite tweedy. This here as an example is Roderick. Then we've got Gone Stripey, and this here is Bernie, which is a lovely, lovely textile. Over here we've got London Hoods, and uh, the stripey one's Multicultural Notting Hill. And here we've got Admired Derrieres. They're a little bit more cushioned and heavy wools. Um, we've got, for example, Marilyn, who's particularly thick and cushioned, and Raphael here. More recently, we've come out with a collection called Golden Nuggets, and we've got Leathers, Prodigy, and Whiskey Galore. Once you get used to cycling along on a pedal shed cover, you don't leave home without it. Just like that lovely cashmere scarf or your beloved pair of sunglasses. <laughs>